Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation testing series. In this tutorial, we will be learning about OS module in Python. So let's begin. OS module in the Python allows us to interact with the operating system. So when we are talking about the automation testing and when we need to interact with the files and directory, we need to do some directory as well in automation testing. So then this OS module will be really helpful. So there are a lot of functions available. We will look into some key functions over here. Uh, let me go here and let me create a uh, one new Python file and let me name it as OS underscore mod 2 and uh, in order to use this OS module we just need to import this OS module okay so import and you will see that this is OS okay so this module has been imported now we can interact with the operating system so first thing is that let's get the current working directory and my current working directory is basically this Python for automation testing okay so this is my current directory c slash user slash del slash desktop slash python for automation testing now let's get this current directory and i be going to print this one so i'll say simply os dot and you see that we are getting a lot of os functions here and the function through which I can get my current directory is basically is get cwd. So here c means current working directory. Okay. So if I run this one, you will see that it will print my current working directory. Okay. So this is my current working directory. Now, what if I need to I know about all the files and the directories inside this one so so for that what I'll do is that simply I will say files is equals to os dot we have list directory this is the one and the path and if I get dot it will give me a current directory over here in the course so simply i'll say this way okay and now uh, let's uh, print this one so simply i'll copy this one from here and paste it here and inside this i will be printing the files okay and now i will run this one uh, you will see that the all files in my current written directory has been printed over here so this is like abstraction, access modifiers, all these files and everything has been printed over here. Okay. Now, uh, what if you want to rename any file, how you can do that? Okay. So simply what I'll do is that I will create one file. Say so in our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can write a file. Okay. So using the open function. So using the same open function what i'll do is that i will say let's create a file i will say this is my test um, log dot txt and i need to write a file and then i need to close this one okay and now this is a file uh, i know that this is an empty file just using the os dot v name and rename this file okay so here we need to provide the old name and the new name which we need to provide so the old name is basically this one right and the new one uh, let me say for example renamed the renamed dot txt okay and let's simply print here rename successfully or something rename file okay and i never run this one so this has been printed and if i go here so you see that we have a rename.txt file and this is because we have created the file with test underscore log name and then we have renamed this particular file so that's why this file got created over here 
Now, in order to uh, remove uh, the file from the directory, so basically what we can do is that we simply say yes, dot remove and we need to provide the path of this particular file. So this is currently in my directory. So simply I'll go ahead and paste it here inside the codes. Okay. So this is a file which I need to remove. So if I run this one, so here it says that cannot create a file when the file already exists. So this code got executed and started to create a file. And what I'll do is that let me simply remove these lines of code. And now let's run this one. So you see that this file has been removed from here. And if you want to check either this particular file exists or not, so simply you can say if, so for example, now we need to check that if this file exists in my directory or not. So simply I say if os dot path dot, then I have this exists and here I need to give a path of the file. Okay. So, and this does not exist so let's i'm checking this one okay using the simply if else and simply printing over here file exist okay and if this is not the case then simply go to the else and here i'm just printing print file not found because the file has been removed so this file will not be found okay so if I run this one you see that file not found but let's say if I know let's find some file like sample.txt so if I say here sample.txt and if I run now this time you will see that it says file exist. Okay. So these are the basic operation using the basic function. There are so many functions available in this module. You can explore those ones, which are really helpful when we are doing automation testing. Now uh, let's work around some uh, scenarios in terms of automation testing. For example, you need to verify that the file has been downloaded successfully or not. In terms of when you talk about when you click on the file, and it gets downloaded. Okay, you need to verify the download functionality, right? So in that case, you, you, you will be going to the browser or the application, just clicking on the link and the file start getting downloaded and it will go to your downloads. Now you need to verify that this file actually got downloaded. So so simply uh, using this os.path.exist, we will check the file. So what I'll say for the demonstration, I'll say download underscore path is basically my uh, downloads okay this is my path and the file name which i expecting is equals to basically my for example you are downloading a test data test data dot csv okay now simply i will say if os dot path dot access and here we have a different uh things to do here so simply i will say uh simply os dot path dot then we have join join means that basically we are giving the multiple you know the multiple paths over here okay so uh, here inside this one i will be giving my both the path the one is download underscore path underscore path and the second one is my y underscore so both has been given in this particular area okay now simply i will say print and i'll say for example download it successfully or even you can uh, go with a simple comparison over here that's also okay 
and else I'll say simply print and I'll say like go file log from file log from okay so let's run this one and see and obviously uh, the file does not exist and this is where we are getting the not found but in this way you can actually verify the download file and you can use this OS module to interact with your operating system and you can create the files you can uh, verify the files so there are a lot of things you can do when you're working with the automation and when we talk about the automation is uh, basically uh, the, there are multiple cases the one case is that you want to create a log file okay so using this os dot path dot so you can create the log file verify the log file thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial